say Daniel Paul Jr. is drafting the pace car. Yep. Uh, hello and welcome to Zach Morrow 3 TV. Today is Cars Link Cup Series. This is the regular season finale here at Michigan. Starting on pole, Daniel Pauls Jr., but a tie for the pole between he and Zevil, which is big for Zevil because per series rules, uh, we've used this in the truck series, um, if there was a tie for pole, regardless of how many positions uh, that tie would be for, uh, there are a 10 point bonus for that pull it would go to both drivers who have that time. So, Zevil and Daniel Paulus Jr. will both get a 10 point bonus. Paulus is locked in. Zevil is not. He is minus 11 now with that 10 point bonus. So, he is very, very, very possibly in this now, being minus 21 prior to that 10 point bonus. And also, are you Points lead battle is 20 point gap right now. Barney Thresher third, starting third. Fitting. Uh, and then Dripsy starting 19th, which is also interesting. We'll glitch we've seen that in the NCRS race with the cars clutching like that. Don't worry about it too much. Um, Chef Squid is plus six. Uh, Bradley Room is minus six. They're starting front and tail, opposing positions if it was finished where it's at. Chef Squid would finish plus four if this were to finish where it starts. Um, and, uh, according to the cut line, uh, we got also, uh, forgot to mention Dark X-Ray in the booth with us today, um, for this race. 40 laps, you know the drill, every lap leads a point, and guys like Zevil, Chef Squid, Reem, they're gonna want that. They're gonna go for it. But, uh, other guys that are below, they're at the cut line, look at their, uh, Dark x Rain is, he just, he really, he's plus 39, he just needs to make sure... Bradley Ream doesn't lead a whole bunch of laps because, realistically speaking, Bradley Ream is the only driver that could pass him. And other than that, he is all but locked in to the playoffs. Just that specific circumstance prevents it. Um, and we already talked about Chef Squid being plus six. Crazy BGD, he's all right. Uh, he just needs a good day, finish all right. Make sure you know Bradley Ream or guys like that don't have a great day. And then uh, we had Brandon Nelson. Uh, he's been consistent, not starting too well today. He is also in contention for that playoff run. We'll see what he does. I just don't know if he's got the speed. And then we have NASCAR Fireball 48 in the 9, who is also in contention as well, being minus, I believe, 17, but not starting out too great in position. So these guys are going to have their work cut out for them. We'll see what happens. Uh, Cactus King has joined the booth. Oh, we've already started recording Cactus King. Um, I got stuff out the way. Uh, so, uh, we're actually going to go to uh, y'all. Uh, Dirk, do you got any initial thoughts on uh, what we might see today? Probably going to see very similar result for the Z. DRS race. Most likely going to see a lot of three wide, a lot of passing, hopefully not wrecked. Alright. Well, it is a big race atmosphere. It's one race involving two battles. We have literally a 20 point deficit for the regular season championship. And as you said earlier, there's a battle for the last two to three spots of the, of the playoffs. So it's a big race. And a track as Michigan is going to be hard to pass, so the draft will be a factor. Let's see what happens. About a, about a little over 30 seconds to the command. Again, Paul's Jr., uh, uh, first front row, first pull of the season. Uh, he's given the pull award by a game, I guess. Uh, I guess the... Uh, I don't know really how that works, how they figure out. I guess it's my number. It's unfair, but if they tie, it, the game's got to figure it out some way. So we'll go with that. Uh, he's going to lead us to the green. He's locked in. Uh, won three races last year. Was the most winningest driver last year. We've already had three drivers this season win three races. Dripsy Shy, Bernie Thresher III, and Joy Paints. Drivers, start your engines! So your command... All right, boys, 40 laps. 
Let's keep it clean. So, it's famous word of the motorsports. Well, today's race, we get to find out who was in and who was out of the playoffs. Three of this for the round of 16 at a CCS. Yep, this car pulls off. And we are green at Michigan. So Daniel Floyd Jr. will take the lead. He will stay to the bottom. Got a battle for third at the moment. Bradley Ream versus uh, Zevil. Yeah. Ah, so Bradley Ream wanna send it to the bottom. And that's where behind him is Chef Squid as he want to try to follow. But so far, the first lap goes to uh, Junior. Yep, Paul's Junior leads lap one. It's really for him, Bradley he just needs to focus on consistency. But Bradley Ream, him leading a lap would be big. Chef Squid right behind to see if he's going to see do anything to try to prevent that. Yeah, because Bradley Ring knows either lap C lead is more points added for a chance to make it into the playoffs. Yep, same but not too far behind is Jeff Squid, Squid himself. Here. Yeah, he needs to defend every way, every poss every way possible. I just don't think he's got the run. Reams going to get that extra point. Going to make uh, five points separate the two now between playoffs. Not counting finishing positions right now is Dripsy uh, going three wide there back. Well, the drive helps uh, Jessica Strauss. Well, never mind. If she's gonna, well, it was almost three wide, but Jeff Squid, he's gonna look and try to. Jeff Squid is in. Jeff Squid is in that position. Here he's comes gonna, Evan H. He's gonna try to turn the curve, make sure he can uh, put, put himself back in a better spot, or at least to rebalance where it was. If Evan H is okay, yeah. Chef Squid will lead that lap, and uh, they're back 6-6 six, six with Bradley Ream and he for that points position. Uh, we are lap four now of 40. Lap well, four, and there's three wide for third, and here comes Evan H. Cause this is going to be big for him as well, so he's currently holds the last spot. And there goes Quadrupet as he's taking a little bit of a draft push from the. Quadruped locked in. Evan H is had a terrible season. has has a win to show for it, but uh, regular, last year's champion trying to defend it, which uh, won't be able to. Not enough points in the race for him to be able to make the playoffs. So uh, can try to finish strong with another win here. Looking for win number two this season for him. But Chef Squid leads another lap, so he'll put seven points between him and Reem for that 16th spot. Quadruped takes the lead. Quadruped is making it three wide for the lead. So far, two rows three wide. As Quad will get a nice push. A little bit of an arrow push there from the 54 Dripsy. Dripsy has been on fire lately. They're looking really for another win. Four, four wins of the season has not been done in this center time three format, and he will take the lead at the line as well, which will be a bonus point, which will extend that gap for the points lead, not counting finish, uh, current positioning right now, we're finishing yet, um, 21 points. The way it stands now, he will be the regular season champion, but it's not over yet. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, there Bird. comes another guy. Bird, Bird's locked in. Jacob Shangle is not locked out, but he, he, he won't be able to make it, I don't think. Realist, unless, like, the whole field DNFs, uh, Jacob Shangle's not making it in. 
He's going to get a lap lead here. He's had an all right season. He's just, he's good when it counts, but he's not been able to come in clutch as much as, you know, you might have expected. And this has definitely been a down year for road racing. They're being their second year is definitely not great for that team. But uh, coming back next year is Toyota. We'll see what they do. They're going to be looking for a rebound for next season. Because we're not having a three-part draft. Well, Samuels Bird and Evan H. As Bird does go low. Bird's still looking for win number three. Only driver to and he will. only driver to make the championship or only driver to make at least the round of eight in every competitive series has raced in in this ser in this server. Almost won the NCCRS championship in his rookie year. Was a round of eight exit. Almost won the championship last year in the CCS, so very strong driver, probably one of the best, but uh, we'll see what he does. It's a lap led there. He, but he is definitely one of our top competitors. K and K car is doing well today. Jessica Strauss and uh, Bobby Isaac all up here in the top five right now. And last week's winner, Reverse Crown Jr., he's still trying to uh, get his second one of the season, keep his uh, streak alive of at least two wins a season. He's done so in every season he's been in the CCS, and uh, so far he has one to the book. Let me try to get number two today, keep that streak alive, and, uh, well, actually, you know what? He's locked out of the playoffs, so I have something to show for a pretty mediocre season, I'll say. As Bird was once again able to come and clutch lead that lap, Bobby Isaac wants to lead a lap, but Roberto Crown Jr. in three wide, he's gonna try to steal it here. Again, I don't think he's pretty much locked out of the playoffs, but uh, looking to go shoot, so shoot him for the season, find some consistency toward this part of the season. Yeah, so he will lead that lap. Yeah, not too far behind. You got the number nine. Number nine. He's one of those guys who is just below the cut line. He's 17 back. Lead this lap could put him 16 back. Uh, not counting uh, all, all these uh, don't keep in mind finishing position just that lap that you lead is very crucial to being successful so we'll see what happens here is dark x rain could literally lead two laps of this race and be locked in so as he's coming up here right now as well only needs to lead two laps to lock himself in because he pretty much is already locked in but just just to Add some icing to the cake, if you would say. As that's far about 48 does come in clutch a little bit there, lead a lap. That'll help him a lot. He just needs to get a good finish here today and do the best he can. Maybe get a win. We'll see what he does. And most of the guys that are already locked into the playoffs are just there to get momentum into the rounds. I can't really blame him. Brandon Nelson uh, is up here. He's trying to get some points, but he's getting a lot of pressure there uh, by Gunther and uh, Bobby Isaac. Bobby Isaac locked out. Gunther relatively locked out. He is actually behind Jonah in points, but there's no way he's going to be able to point him way at, his way in at this rate. As a, uh, I believe, a darkest rain did lead that lap. So. Uh, more lap left for Dark, and he is locked. He's officially locked in without any question it, it, it no circumstances possible lead, lead him to be locked out even with Reem, two spots left for the battle yeah, and even with Reem, even with Reem leading that lap it puts chef squid in the same position so dark x rain getting that lap lead point see if he can do it no fireball well, he's gonna get closer it's close but Dark X Rain. Well, definitely would do it. Good, yeah, good, here good day for Dark Rain. A though. number. Not over yet. Yep, not over yet. As they are three wide for the lead. Yeah, that's and that nine is Gunther. Nine car's got a good run on the top. Seven's got no help. Seventy-six doesn't. We'll see if he gets the run on the bottom. So twenty-four does run the nine up the track just a little bit. Seventy-six trying to do ditto on that. He's definitely doing well at that for sure. I don't know if he's gonna get the run off the corner. However, we'll see. Uh, the runoff corner will 12. go to Gunther, LV Gunther. Gunther will get it. Yeah, barely. Maybe by one tenth of a second. That was the last and lap. That would have been a heck of a finish. 
Well, I don't think we're done yet. Because it comes the 90. Oh, that's a 66. Roach, he is very far back from standings again. Just like Jacob Shangle trying to show something for the year. Maybe get a win. This would be a great track to do it. The guy behind him, Reggie Fogelman. Reggie's locked in to the playoffs. He will make his these second. guys are three wide. Yeah, I'm gonna say three or four rows deep. Yeah. So far they're keeping it clean. Uh, Gunther needs another lap. Roach is gonna try to take the lead, but he's gonna get a little help either from Reggie or Jeff Jordan. Four wide there a little bit in the one. Dark X Rain. It's just a tight little area. Dark X Rain NASCAR for about 48 get washed up a little bit there. Roach takes the lead. Again, just trying to show something for the season at this point. Maybe get a win. Geth, same deal. He's actually got a win to show for this season, but too far back to make any noise. Same for Bobby Isaac as well. Ooh, Roach really went up the track that time. I think I think that's going to give Geth the lap. Yeah, that's going to give Geth the lap. He really washed up the track. Yeah, supposed to get an arrow push from the 71. Yeah, Bobby Isaac having a very uh, yeah. good day in that 71 car. NH, who's third in points, right behind that. Uh, not in, he's literally 98 points behind the points leader. He is not in contention for the season points title, but man, I will say he's been very consistent, just doesn't have the wins to show for it, despite having two, I believe. Maybe one, I'm not sure. But I really believe. He might play a spoiler in the end of this and decide who will make it and who will out. Honestly, I don't think so. I think he'd play uh, finally getting a, something to show for his consistency, maybe. We'll see. As he will lead the lap. Teammate, uh, Third Alex Gaming, who is locked into the playoffs. Or they're not teammates, actually. Manufactured teammates, but Third Alex Gaming locked in the playoffs as well. He's right behind that. Driver to win the Heritage Cup at this point. Uh, but not so far behind. Uh, NH indeed only has one win, and that was at Old Spice earlier this season. Highest car in standings right now without a win would be the car that is just taking the lead. 23rd in Lexington Gaming. He almost had a win in Daytona Beach, but he had a restart violation which encumbered that win. Also, a little bit of bummer there as well. That was the 150th Carson Cup Series race, and the only race that does not have a winner placed with it in the CCS. Reggie Fogelman well, looking for some his. History. Reggie Fogelman looking for his second career win and second one of the season propel him forward in the playoffs and dark is still there design also locked in still there exo locked out and brian brian we brian webb in the back in the sixth part-time driver it's been it actually was in the cup race or the nccrs race here in michigan in the that series and did pretty good uh almost won it uh so he's having a good day to get in the cup race as well there's reggie fogelman lead a lap there and comes the 97, it's going to make it three wide. Well, nice make it two wide for the lead. Zion locked into the playoffs. Uh, 2017 champion. Hasn't won yet this year, but uh, making the playoffs. Yeah. Pretty good. I guess, I guess he's still dealing with the championship hangover at this point. Can he? championship 2017 i wouldn't say hangover he's been fast every time he's been in the car uh he's had a win to show for every season he's competed which uh i think the ring's true uh i'd have to check the history sheet to confirm that but i believe that's true jonah burridge he is not locked out but he's gonna need to lead the most laps and make sure a lot of guys finish behind him to make to make it in has been in the series since 2021, and him and Brad Stover are the only two that have that stat and have yet to win a race. He just went away that red lap. He's going to need to help at least. Well, if Bradley Rain stays behind him, he might be able to, able to do it, but I think Brian, we're going to be near the halfway point. Brian Webb there in the six. He got a little, a little wide there. Is Lethal Mortar going four wide? Almost thought about it. Uh, in fact, he commits 44 lethal mortar four wide in on the apron up the track into web. They somehow keep it clean. 
We're still four wide, though. Usually going four wide at the end of turn two doesn't really pay us off, but... Yeah, he's, he's sending right now. Literally, he does. And Reem able to block it a little bit. He's going to go off the track a little bit. And Webb is just getting ran over right now. Fast car, but getting ran over is uh, Jonah Bird in the 121 Wood Brothers Ford. He's going to lead a lap here. Riley Reem right behind him. And Chef Squid, nowhere to be seen as Bradley Ream is up here. That's concerning for Chef Squid and his playoff hopes right now. He's going to have to come in clutch. I believe Chef Squid currently holds the last spot to the playoffs. Well, if it finishes where it's at, um, Bradley Ream would, would take that. Chef Squid is back in 38th right now, does not need that. And Bradley Ream trying to take another lap here. Lap led here. Every lap led's a point. And he looks to clear uh, Jonah, which is going to make it even more harder for Chef Squid to defend that last spot. Crazy BGD's not out of the woods either, but he's currently running decently right now. Bobby Isaac in the 71. Building for his. And he's in his working rookie season. Higher number two, and. He's had a pretty mediocre season. But he's noticeably been up, notably been up front for most of the races. Now it's probably 48 trying to come back up here as well. He's not out of either. I bet he's thinking about how much he... Oh, wow, got in the back of the 44 there. Teammates to the 28, but he's thinking about how much he needs to do to pass that 28. Because I think right now, they're thinking Chef Squid is too far back. And, uh... Yeah, going Chef, Squid, to be Chef Squid's... He's... Yeah, we'll see what he does. Uh, we still got a few laps left. I believe uh, the car that led that last lap was uh, Bobby Isaac in the 71. Oh, four wide off of two. Jessica Strauss. Wow. Right there with the 82, 97, and 121. 82 dives it in, makes sure it doesn't stick. Very smart move by the 82. Gaming Freak is Bird having to lift there as well. Lethal Mortar leads the lap. He is locked out of the playoffs. This being better than last year. He's hoping year. to have a better season, at least. Yeah, he last, his rookie year was pretty bad this year. Or actually, he had a win to show for his rookie year, so it wasn't bad. But this year, is, it has a lot more consistency, but just hasn't had the results to show for much of it. And doesn't have a win either, so we'll see what happens. This nine car... Was the runner-up to uh, the champion in 2018, back when this was a diecast league. 2021 had a early exit of the playoffs due to a uh, barrel roll at Orlando. And 2022, last year, had a very strong season. This year, trying to put up something similar, if not better. He's not out. Keep an eye on him and see how a point st stack up for him after this race. It's, he's got some laps led in his bank. But basically, at this track I'm seeing now, we have a bunch of comers and goers. It, it's it's conveyor and belt it to an like extent. Just... And it, those uh, K and K cars are very strong today. They're strong at Kansas. They're strong today. It's, these uh, my, these these type of tracks seem to be their strong suit. The uh, ovals, which uh, with a little bit more of a super speedway type feel to it. Kansas wasn't so much so. Jessica did not win at Kansas, by the way. She ended up second to Jeff Jordan after a last lap uh, pass. Fireball 48 again leads another lap, which is very crucial for him. Coming into this, he was only minus yeah, 17. Yeah, every point count. And if he wins it. He'd be in great shape. I, I'd say probably in the playoffs um, if he wins it. It just really depends on where uh, Chef Squid and Riley Ream and all those guys finish. Look now, guess who's currently sneaking away up to the front? The old four of Frank. Frank Chilton, yeah, making uh, he has made uh, some noise in all of his cup starts. He's this is his third Cup Series start and is already once again proving he has what it takes. Going four wide and one though, maybe not the greatest idea. Definite rookie mistake, but uh, other guys know what they're doing. Um, none of them back, uh, but the 404 still going for it. There's a nine still leading here. Zion trying to take the lead as well. Frank Chilton uh, led some laps at Martinsville, had a 
pretty good performance there. Twin Ringham Otegi had the fastest car, got top five in his debut. And today, showing more of the same. Uh, yeah, it was on credit. He's definitely going to be ready for next year at the faith he's going. Yep, for sure. And as uh, Zion did lead that lap. Brandon Nelson, uh, he's also a playoff driver that's one to watch. He is currently minus... Uh, let me pull up the thing here. Uh, him being up here is important. Let's see if he can stay. But he is currently minus 16. So is, with this already going on, uh, Fireball's already passed him in terms of points. We'll see where finishing rolls out once it's said and done. Is We're coming to 10 to go in a couple laps, which it's time to start thinking. Is uh, Frank Chilton, I believe this is the second straight race he's led a lap and only his third start. That is interesting. I believe you're looking forward for next year at this pace. We got full send Sean on the bottom. He's uh, full sending for the lead oh. right now. Uh, you got Zell right behind him, our uh, outside pole sitter who got the points for it. And Chef Squid, he's back. He's not done yet. Yeah, not too far. And in front of him is what? The Devil? The 40. 45. Yeah, Zevil to 45. So is... Zevil, it's going to become real close between Zevil, Chef Squid, Rally Ream. I think, honestly, I think Crazy BGD, he needs to start worrying too. It's going to be very close because BD, if he finishes where he's at, which is about mid pack 20th, seeing how well some of these playoff guys have been doing, I don't think it's enough. So BGD is not, not in greatest shape right now. So we'll see what happens because. Chef Squid and Ream could both make it, hypothetically, but we'll see what happens. I believe Courtney BBG and Daniel Paul Jr. are teammates, right? Uh, technically, yes. So, Daniel Paul Jr. is the team owner of the 13, which is a one-car operation. It's kind of like a, a uh, 2311 Joe Gibbs deal kind of thing. But with Wood Brothers and Shake and Baker racing. So BGD not in a great spot right now. Is that lap, I believe, was led by Chef Squid. Again, very crucial lap led there. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he did lead that lap as Paulus. The, the uh, pole sitter per game rules. And a uh, tie for pole. Um, yeah, Paulus. He's looking for his first one of the season. Almost got a Daytona Beach. Got in the wall in the last lap. Didn't didn't make it happen. As Mario Thrust third, looking for his fourth win of the season. Yeah, but these guys are definitely making it close. And here comes the 59. Barney Thrasher. Or Barney Thrasher the third, rather. But he's... got I think if he... Trying to come in close. Uh, he, well, I don't know if he's still currently 20 points behind, but... Yes. If he leaves a couple of laps, he will make it close. At least a battle for the regular season championship, but... I think we're the 54 finishes. I don't think it's going to be enough. 59 finishes. We'll see what happens. Really just depends on who finishes where. Yeah, but here comes the O3. They're not looking Red Bull car. We're talking about how he was just a few points back. He's going to be able to take the lead here at 59. Really, really messed up the corner there. Is a 40 at Cazzo. He's going to take a huge run off the corner, but I don't know if he's going to have enough speed. He does not to lead the lap. But He might, but I don't think he does have any drafting help since so he left at the bottom. Well, he's going to take it now. He's had... Yeah. He's able to use that run on the bottom and come through here as Quadruped. Oh, he's going to hit the apron a little bit. That's going to kill it as Quadruped is going to go to the top and quite possibly take it. We'll see what the draft does here as Quadruped doesn't quite take advantage of that corner. Bit of a rookie mistake there by the one car who's already locked in. Gaming Freak who's also locked in on the bottom. Kazo locked out, but looking for a win to show for the season. Big slide there by the 82. Ripsy, he's coming as well. Yeah, he's going to be a little bit... Right, yeah, I think he's going to take the lead at the moment. Uh, Give it to Kazo, doing his thing. 54 trying to solidify that season points title. Or, yeah, 54 is. At their, what, six laps to go, and... Gaming Freak this is definitely for the money, money time. Gaming Freak looking for win number three of the season. <laughs> Here comes Thrasher. He's gonna try oh, touched to... Touched by the 86. 80, 88 of Jessica. Having to go to pit road. Mechanical oh, wow. issues is likely the cause for that. Well, that's 
gonna hurt. Had a great card on the show for it. Really almost caused a wreck there. How much she was forced down there or not, or could we make any issues? Yeah, yeah here it comes. It didn't cause any issues, so we're good. Kazo holds the lead, quadruped trying to get it back. He's definitely peeking. And he's gonna go oh, low he's gonna here. gonna get a nice giraffe for an 82 to keep it. Our salamander will be and... first one. He's, oh, 54 having issues. Oh, wait, so these guys are pitting for oh, gas. Oh, I think they're pitting. These guys are pitting for real, all right. So that's what's pitting? happening. Did not think they were gonna do that, but here we are. All right, so I guess this wait, is a fuel mileage race. Five left to go, four left to go. I did not so think this is gonna, gonna be a fuel mileage, mileage mate. No, no clue that was gonna happen. I guess the fuel mileage here is an issue. So I was gonna let the O3 take the lead. If he stays out, that's kind of big. But the f gotta think about the 88 though. He she pitted first. Uh, see how draft's such a huge thing here. I think she's gonna be at a disadvantage. But we'll see what happens. See who pits this time. Not that many left left though. All right. And look like we're gonna have more. So Everyone this is gonna be wave pitting. number three. Some of these guys may be able, may be able to stretch it. We'll see what happens. This is the 40 of Kazo takes the lead. Everyone's still pitting I guess for in, fuel and gas. I guess in Jessica's case, she did the uh, the undercut by pitting yeah. early and making everyone else force the pit. Yep, 42. Of yeah, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan out now. might stay on the lead lap, but it appears on if Kazo decides to pit in or not. Yeah. He's still, oh, so no, oh no! Oh no! Oh! They save it! Oh, what a save! Still going to pit road and though. Fifty nine. A thresher going to stay out, try to quarters. put a put a fight up for that points lead. He stays out. The twenty two almost takes the position from, but not quite. Gift Jordan. They're going to yep. use that lap car as a draft pick. Right now, his cars are coming but out of pit road right now. Go. Going laps this down. This is going to be. Oh boy. Be close on uh, uh, fuel and whatnot. These lap cars are a lot faster right now. This may be good for Thrasher. Let's see how many to at least guys make can a battle out. for the. This is either going to be helpful or this is going to hurt. All right, Tra Thrasher's, Thrasher's going to pit. pit. Here we go. One lap to go. Twenty-two of Dino oh. Paulus. He stays out. Paulus stays out. It's Coming to the white flag. Battle. He's off pace. Does he have enough gas to make it? Oh, that is the question. Who's in second? Wait, the 97. He's in the lead. Zine, 22 is out of gas. I think. Oh. That or he's... Yeah, 22 of Daniel yeah, Paul's Jr. is out of gas. 97 of Zine is also out of gas. Two cars out of gas uh, on the stretch. Gonna go. Who's in second? I'm not sure. Just make it out who's in third, but they're four behind. Two it's cars. It's going to be who makes it to the line first. Out of gas on the final corner. They're going to have to go to pit road. They're not going to be able to limp it. Oh. Who's the next car? Who's going to win it? Be cut because whoever crosses the finish line is going to win. Yeah, these guys are going to have to pit. I think is Oh, is Zion crosses? Oh, no. All right. He's well, Zion pit pit was not next to the finish line. Could it be right. the 22? All right. Can he cross the line? Can he cross the line? Is, this is, Can he cross the line? If he oh, here comes the 59. Here comes the 59. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, I don't know. 90, the 22. The 22 won it. Daniel Paulus on pit road has won here at Kansas. Barney Thresher will get third. Wow. See the guy take a win by entering pit road. They knew By they did not have enough gas to make it. No fuel. The fuel. 22 did not have any gas at the line. He will still get that win. Daniel Paulus, with the strategy of the season, will win here at Kansas. Let's take a look at uh, how close that was. Barely. I, I thought 97 was going to stay ahead, but the pit box is such an important placement. Yeah, plus he has to stay on the pit road speed, so he cannot make a path. All right, so let's but, go to the line. There's the 22. These guys played. Okay, so the line, I believe, is that white line. And then here comes. Was... And then Zion still came home second. 
led the lap prior. What a way to end the regular season is Barney Thresher, despite his best efforts, I think it was. I think he will, the that's how close he was to winning the race, but the 22 on pit road ran out of gas and finished it on pit road and Zine in second. Both those cars had a crazy strategy and made it work. Just the 97, his pit box placement just wasn't where it needed to be. Probably could have rolled, but I just don't think so. Now, the question it is, where did the 54 finish? The 54 finishes uh, close enough. The 54, I believe, depending on how many laps Barney Thrusher led, which would have to be more than 10, or the the 10 point bonus four mouse slaps led would be what it would take what for Barney Thurston to win the season points title. So at the moment, I am guesstimating the 54's got it. Now let's see where Ream and Squid finish. Bradley Ream, 41st. So seeing you can't finish, well, we'll see if he stays that way when he crosses the line. So if, let me see. So Bradley Ream is not going to make it to the next round, despite where he finishes. Um, Jeff Squid, not much better. Um, he's not locked in. We still have to worry about NASCAR Fireball 48 and Brandon Nelson. I Depends on where to finish. This Brandon, race... Brandon Nelson... Does Brandon Nelson, 15th. Not a bad finish. Fireball, 48. Bad finish. I am so, still stunned at the fact that the, 13 the 22 out. literally won this race by coming to pit road. And I believe the battle for the regular season championship is going to be close, but... It happens, but I think... Thrasher did third, and where did Dripsy finish? Uh, Drips finished 15th, or 13th, 14th, something like that. 13th, actually. So, seeing this, the 28 will most definitely miss the playoffs. The 91 will miss the pl Well, yeah, the 91 of Shift Squid will likely miss the playoffs. Brandon Nelson will make it to the playoffs, likely. But, as for that, because... Fireball, where did Zevil finish? He's the only other guy that could possibly make it in. He didn't finish. Maybe this Zevil. This is going to be a lot of calculations. It is. Um, the only guy I know that's in, and in, I know is out, that I know the 03 is in, I know the 28's out, and I think the 91's out. 13, I'm not sure, but I think, I think it's just... A lot of guys that did, uh, top 10 is interesting, but no one really far back enough to change that up. So, what a finish! Oh, no. Running out of gas at Michigan. I did not think this was going to be a fuel race, but sure enough, it was. Um, and they barely made it. Um, 40 laps of gas. Some guys did, some of the guys didn't. You literally saved enough gas just across the finish line on Pit Road. If it wasn't for him winning that pole, because I think that would actually did it for him. Could it pit start is literally above, well, I had it a, a finish line. If they would have been in a top five or ten, maybe he would have won by coming on the pit road. Definitely so, and but definitely that... would have been in the playoffs too. But uh, what a finish. Uh, we'll have to calculate points, but... Like we discussed, I think it's going to finish the way we discussed it there just then. Uh, next week is Charlotte. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we got uh, playoffs. So uh, congratulations to your playoff drivers. We know who's lucky. We know who's not. Uh, we'll see you next week at Charlotte. Start the round 16.